during the process from you know from the idea the conception to actually quote unquote finishing it because it's not necessarily done yet but things maybe the top three things that you think you've learned on the way to create the TV show I really had to rely on God a lot and when I say rely on God I don't just mean like a passing prayer I mean like God I need lights cameras and sound mm. by tomorrow mm. like that you know <laughs> And then to see him come through with it, like, there you go, is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So, the biggest obstacle I had to deal with was my own fear. I was, I was afraid, like, I, if I was able to do it. I didn't know if I had the ability, because I had never put on a TV show in my life. I'd put on other shows, you know, but I'd never done a TV show. And so, I had the dream, I had the vision, but I was kind of dealing with an element that I hadn't done yet. So. I was afraid, I was, you know, so I, I, that was the biggest obstacle. What I learned was that that really is the only obstacle, fear, you know, because everything was already made, ready for me. Everything was laid out for me. I just didn't know it. Right. You know what I mean? Like God had it just already there. All I had to do was not be afraid to do something. Like for instance, all I had to do was put out an ad on Craigslist and I got tons of people. Mm -hmm. But it freaked me out to put out the ad. So. Really? Yeah, because I was like, oh my god, am I really going to do this? Am I really going to do this? Ah, finally I did it. Everybody came. So that told me that every your, your, the, the resources that you need for your dreams are there. Yeah. You know, if you believe in God, if you have faith, it's there. All you need to do is take those steps. So overcoming fear. Second, it's, it's very important to be prepared. I learned that, you know, when you're dealing with a team, you're, you're, and especially a team of professionals, you're dealing with people that are, are, are trusting you as a leader. And it is my desire to be a good leader and to continue to grow. So as a leader, I learned that I need to be even more prepared. I need to have everything ready even more in advance, you know what I mean? Um, even if it is only a pilot, you know? Um, because that instills trust into my team and it's very important. It's very important for me, the relationship between me and my team. I learned that there's an incredible amount of talent that's untapped. You know, and that people desire so much to filter their talent into something bigger than themselves. Right. You know, and I also learned that the role of a visionary, because I, I do know that I'm a visionary. I learned that the role of a visionary is just as important as, say, the role of, you know, a camera operator or a PA or a set designer or whatever. It's a role you play. And as a visionary, if you don't do your vision, you are stopping all those other people from being able to do their talents because they're, they're waiting for you to put the piece out there. So I learned that, like, okay, it's my job to execute vision. It's my job to transfer vision. It's your job to actually, like, film it or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I learned that, that, and that that's a humbling place to be, but it's also a, a place of much responsibility. Word. What's the best way for them to contact you in terms best, of like email? Or? Best way to contact me. Okay, um, you can contact me through email. If you just want to speak to me personally, my name is Deborah Jane, and my email is Deborah D E B O R A H dot J dot Burke B U R K E at gmail dot com. Now, if you are an artist or a pastor or community leader or somebody, anyone doing something innovative or pioneering with hip hop, then you'd, then you'd want to submit to me a photo and a clip of whatever you do. That could be on YouTube. If you want to submit, you need to submit to this email. It's deborahjanehht at gmail.com. That's Deborah D-E-B-O-R-A-H-J-A-N-E-H-H-T at gmail.com. Okay. You know, so for all the other screenwriters, actors, actresses, people that are artists, you know, any words of wisdom, things that you've learned. Believe in your art and your your ability. Don't be afraid uh, just because you have not done it yet that you can't do it. Because what's inside of you is a lot bigger than you think. That's firstly. Secondly, believe in God. God has got your back. You gotta go with God. I don't know what you can do with you. Don't go with God. You gotta do that. And and thirdly, don't be afraid to be innovative. Don't be afraid to pioneer. I think. If you're an artist, you're meant to do something that hasn't been done yet. So go in that direction. Trust that direction, you know, and make it happen. Oh, and another thing, work hecka hard. 
Pacheco. Never think that following your dreams is easy. If it's easy, you're probably not following your dreams. Right. You know, the vision and the, the inspiration of what you want to do, that's the easy part. Executing, that's going to take sweat. So make sure that you, you recognize the sweat will be dropping off your forehead. And if you're willing to put that down, then do it. Thank you for right. being here. I'm going to be on the lookout. Recognize this face. Recognize that smile. Okay, <laughs> that's stardom right there. Television, baby. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Drop sweat and make it happen. That's right. All right, we're out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.